Well, here we are again. On to Boston we are now. Well, the Bruins have been, well, kind of a disaster the last couple of years, ever since they won the Cup. Um, very weird decisions, poor decisions. I don't know what the background of all of these decisions were, but they sure, sure seem spurious to me. They seem really weird. Uh, going back to the Sagan trade, of course, I mean, much has been said about that. Uh, it seems like they just didn't know how to handle a young kid, cocky kid, or didn't want to deal with it. Um, I've heard a lot of rumors about it, or um, something to the effect of uh, ownership has a package that they want to sell to their fans, and uh, if you want to be a partier and stuff like that, they're not really interested. Um, I don't know how much truth that it is to that, but uh, and if anybody out there has any more information on that, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, it does seem to bear some fruit, though. Uh, so the Sagan deal, for for instance, uh, he, this is a kid that was obviously extremely talented. He was probably pushing the envelope um, in, in maturity, but... Uh, that's something you should, as an organization, learn to deal with and get through. Um, they didn't and made a deal that uh, was forced Shirelli into a deal, really, that uh, left them with not many cards to play. Um, I still think they should have got more, uh, especially when you don't sign Louis Erickson later on. Uh, then you get rid of Shirelli and bring in uh, Sweeney, who makes, as far as I'm concerned, is, not, is maybe even more of a horrible deal because he wasn't pressured into it at all. He deals Riley Smith for Hayes, which is just odd. I have no idea why he would trade an obvious potential 30-goal scorer for a um, big third-line center that might give you 30 points a year um, just because he's from the Boston area. Uh, maybe it's another one of those things where Riley Smith wasn't interested in being there because they were too stuck up. Uh, that seems to be what happened with Hamilton. Um, uh, the the thing, Boston would say he didn't want to play there. And it seems like Hamilton was kind of indicating that what it's not that he didn't want to play there. It, it was, but it was because it was just boring as a kid to play there. They, they wouldn't let you do anything. Uh, he goes to Calgary, he's not a malcontent there. Um, he seems to get along with everybody just fine. In fact, he seems to have a pretty good disposition. Um, so you trade him for a first and two seconds, and a lot of people gave him a lot of heat for that. But really, it's a very deep draft, and they might actually work out pretty good for them. Um, they ended up having three picks in a row in the first round. I think one of them was from the Luchich trade. And personally, I didn't like what they did uh, with those picks. Saboro is probably going to play in the NHL, maybe, but he's going to be a defensive defenseman. And I don't like picking defense defensemen that early in the draft because they um, usually can be picked up later. Um, they went off the board with Louis DeBrusque, or not De Louis DeBrusque's son, um, Jake DeBrusque, and he's a smaller player. He might play the second line. Like, I, I don't know why they were so hard they were so uh, in on him i do like the pick of sinition because uh i had him uh, a lot higher in the draft than what was projected but i still think he could have got him later so why don't you take one of those two picks and um, see if you can get if get a later first round and a second out of it it's possible that they couldn't because it's such a deep draft and nobody wants to give up those picks so i'll give them that um, Brandon Carlo in that draft was fantastic, as you can tell. He's uh, he's going to be excellent. He's another defensive defenseman. Saboral, it'd be nice if he can make it as anywhere near what Brandon Carlo is going to be, and that's why I think they picked Saboral too soon. Um, the last one, oh, I can't even pronounce his name, Frackashacker or something. <laughs> but he'll probably play and then I'll know what his name is. He's one of those guys. And he was a good passer in Sweden and um, the 57 pick. I hope it works out for them. And I hope it works out for them because the Boston organization is a legendary organization. They are... When you think of Boston, there is an aura about Boston, you know, the big bad Bruins. Unfortunately, I think for the next little while, 
it's going to be um, light on the big and heavy on the bad. Um, they don't have all that much depth. They're, uh, Bergeron is awesome. We can't say anything bad about him. He's fantastic. Uh, Pasternak looks like he's a gooder. And you got Marshawn. Besides that, their depth is pretty weak. Um, Spooner, you know, kind of middle of the road, sec first, second line, center. Can't even seem to use him in trade bait to get D, which is their biggest problem. Um, the fact that Brown and Carlo is playing well is great, but he probably shouldn't be able to make a D NHL D and John Michael Lyle should not be in your top four if those two things are happening you're in a world of trouble you're in a world of hurt and it doesn't seem like they have the package to be able to bring another defenseman in like I was saying about yesterday with Anaheim they are dangerously close to having to look at rebuilding um, I think that may be the direction that they're going anyways I hope with all these first round draft picks that they've used and if that's the case Please give Bergeron a place to play where he can win another cup because I want to see him do it. I love the guy. Um, uh, definitely Krejci, who should have went but didn't go. They kept, and now he's injured like he always is. And if he's playing, he's great, but he's older. The team is getting older, and they're not getting better. Um Besides that, uh, um, their defense looks good. Their goaltend or their defense looks horrible, and they have Rask. I mean, they might squeak into the playoffs this year. I have them missing. A lot of people have them making it. I think it's going to be barely if they do. Well, that's my full 42 percent today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have no more to give than that. Have a great day, and I think tomorrow will be Calgary if my alphabet is correct, which could possibly not be the case, but I'll check, out. I'll check up on that. I'm pretty sure it'll be Calgary, though. Talk to you later. Have a great day.